the Blackland Air Eraser. This time we're going to have a shave with it with a level 4 base plate coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and WhatsApps everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in a video. Hey, thanks so much for joining me again. Great to see you. Love getting together with you. And we have already started the shave. Well, at least I've done the pre-shave with the Cube 2.0. And right now, I am loading my Simpson Trafalgar T3. Uh, uh, yeah, Simpson Trafalgar T3 <laughs> synthetic uh, shaving brush with the uh, ebony handle. Uh, and I'm going to do a classic lather using my Starry Night Lathering Bowl. Thank you again, Beth Jones, for a wonderful, wonderful lathering bowl. And we're using Burn the Ships uh, Shave Soap. So I'm just loading the, the brush right now. And we're going to build a lather. We're going to have a shave with the Blackland Era Razor. Now, a viewer named Alex Lopez. Thank you very much, Alex. I really do appreciate... Uh, the uh, base plate that you sent along. Alex said, hey Mark, I've got a number four safety bar base plate, level four safety bar base plate for the Black Lady Air Razor. I'd like to send it to you. Uh, I think he said he needed something a little more, something a little more growl, so to speak. And I said, sure, I would love to try it because I've reviewed the Black Lady Air Razor with the level three safety bar base plate. And while it did a nice job, it was, for me, it was a little bit on the mild side. And uh, the number level four plate, obviously, is going to have a little more, a little more growl, a little more efficiency. Now, the Blackland Air Razor is 3D printed and CNC machined. It's made in the United States of America. And you get uh, 10 different base plates. Well, 10 different base plates are available. So you can buy it and buy any number of different base plates for it. Uh, you have five safety bar plates, one through five or straight bar base plates, and you also have five open comb plates, base plates. Look at that, huh? Huh? Look at that. <laughs> pardon, pardon my uh, aside here, but uh, boom, leather. <laughs> That's fantastic. Anyhow, we're going to have a shave with the level 4 plate because Alex very, very kindly sent it along. And I just want to get right to the shave. Thank you again to Alex Lopez for sending it along and allowing me to share it with the viewers. The Blackland Air Razor is a stainless steel razor, again, 3D printed CNC machine. It is very, very well made. Terrific, terrific, terrific razor. But I found the level three plate to be very much on the mild side. Level four plate, I'm hoping, is going to have a little more growl, a little more efficiency. I have one day's worth of beard growth here. And what a wonderful lather. Now I'm going to put this lathering bowl down for the remainder of the video so it doesn't slip out of my hand because this is slick soap from Hoffman's. Really, really terrific, terrific stuff. All right, so here's the razor right here. All right, and I have the number four plate in place. Boy, this is terrific. Oh, you know what? I just dropped, here, I got it right here. One minute, one minute, hang on. I don't want to open up the sink. I just dropped that over in here. Oh, got it, right here. Drop the O-ring off. I have <laughs> good recovery. Don't want to lose that. That's the O-ring that came with it. Although I can use some others. Uh, you want to hang on to that. So this is the level four plate right here. Okay, can you see that? Level four. Now here's my level three. And by the way, Alex sent along this terrific, terrific case that you could put base plates and razor heads in there. Fantastic. Absolutely wonderful for travel. I'll get a link for it. I believe this is by Yaki. It's terrific, terrific, terrific. Here's the level three plate right here that I used in my original review. All right, 
it was okay, but again, level four is level four. So we're going to go ahead and get a, uh, we're going to use this right here. We're going to use a uh, Super Iridium razor blade right here. Super Iridium. Okay. We're going to use this. like these blades a lot, and uh, I think it will be a, a good blade for this test run. Test run? No, not a test run. For this outing, here we go for this right there. So here is the, I'll show you one more time. Here is the level four base plate, straight bar or safety bar as they call it. Okay, goes on there like that. Here's that very, very important O-ring and buffer ring. And there's the handle. Boy, it's a beautiful razor, it really is. Alignment and balance, spot on. I love the matte finish. End tabs are enclosed in the uh, razor head. You can barely, barely, barely feel them. Uh, terrific feel to the handle. Really nice balance and weight. Terrific. Okay, let's get to it. Let's heat this on there. Let's heat this on there. Let's heat this. <laughs> Sound like uh, a little bit like uh, poor, uh, poor Porky Pig. But I'm never now. Let's heat this under some hot, hot, hot water. All right, let's go. Okay, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Yeah, that has nicer efficiency. That really does. Uh, a little more blade feel than the three, than the level three plate for sure. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely a nice, positive for, move forward for me with this razor. Boy, that is really good. That is definitely a higher amount of efficiency than the level three plate. No doubt about it for me. Boy, that's, that's terrific. That really is. Now, it has a very nice low profile to the razor head. That's terrific. Should be very maneuverable on the upper lip and underneath the nostrils. And it is. Nice job of getting up underneath the nostrils. Hey, first pass done. Let's rinse. Definitely a, um, based on my experience with the level three plate, this is a better pass uh, with the level four plate than it was with the level three plate. Uh, socially acceptable range, uh, very, very good. Uh, I would say that with the level three plate, uh, I knew that I was going to need a third pass. With this level four plate, I might be done after two passes. We'll see. We're just going to go ahead and uh, paint that lather back on there. Boy, oh boy, this brush is, has been wonderful. Look how much lather. Oh man, I tell you what, I'm a face lather, but this shaving, this lathering ball, this starry night lathering ball, <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is quickly converting me. I'm telling you, this is fantastic. Okay, boy, plenty, you know, still plenty there, too, if I need it. Plenty there. Okay. All righty. Here we go. We're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Some some nice grip on this uh, razor handle. Even though uh, my hands are a little bit wet, it seems to be gripping a little bit. I'll wipe my hands off a little bit. Yeah, that helps, but... Uh, I guess the matte finish and the fact that there are these ringlets along the the, uh, the body of the handle up here towards the neck really does help increase the grip. All right, pass number two, we're going to go east to west across the grain. 
Very well made razor. Very, very well made. Wow. And it comes in at a great price point for something that's manufactured in the United States. Really, really terrific. Wow, that's nice. Really, I, I'm really enjoying this shave. No doubt this is more efficient than the level three plate for me. Boy, that's terrific. That really is. Nice residual slickness from the Hoffman's Burn the Ships Shave Soap. Did a great job on the upper lip. First pass, this razor really got the lion's share of all those little bits up underneath the nostrils. Second pass was just a little bit of cleanup. Really, really terrific. Very maneuverable. And again, end tabs are enclosed in the razor head. You can barely, barely feel them. I mean, just... They're enclosed for all practical purposes. They're just terrific. Terrific design of the razor head. Nice and slim and very maneuverable. And a really good weight to the razor, too. Very manageable. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, that's more like it. That the shave is done. No doubt about it. Two passes with the level four plate, it's done. With one day's worth of beard growth, and even a little more with the level three plate, I'm going to be doing three passes. I think I did, what did I do? I can't remember. I have to go back and look at the review. I think I did three passes and a little bit of touch-up. Level four plate, I don't need that at all. This is really, really right where I want this razor. And this level four plate will make sure that I'll keep revisiting this razor and put it in my rotation because level three was really, really very, very mild. It's not to say I wouldn't use it, but the level four plate I think I will use more often for my shaves. All right, here's my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Ah. Very nice, just a terrific shave. Really nice, nice shave, nice result. Very, very smooth. The Wizomet razor blade, the Wizomet Super Iridium razor blade paired up very nicely with this razor. Looking forward to using other blades with it. Terrific. Cold water rinse. Boy, that's just, that's brilliant, as they say across the pond. That's marvelous. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, that's a nice shave. That's really very, you know what? I think I'm approaching BBS. This is really terrific. One day's worth of beard growth. I think maybe with two days worth of beard growth, three days worth of beard growth, this uh, this razor would probably be uh, three passes. Two passes is just fun for uh, one day's worth of beard growth. Maybe a third pass, with a little bit of a touch up if, um, you know, just for the for, for the sheer enjoyment of it. Of course, I want to move the video along, but uh, this was really a terrific, terrific shave. Like it a lot. Here we got my alum block from Phoenix Shaving, no slip grip, dry dock system. Then I'm going to send some cold water and see what kind of feedback we get. Any zinging, stinging, that sort of thing. Here we go. Boy. 
Boy, that's smooth. That is, there's no stinging. There's no zinging at all. That's, that's marvelous. And I also have, I don't know, it's like a little summer bug bite, mosquito bite or something right here. It's been here for, I don't know how long, but seems to be, seems to be fine. The razor didn't upset it at all. Fantastic, fantastic Allen Block Pass. No stinging, no zinging. Nice bracing and cooling effect from the Allen Block. Dry dock system, there it goes. Air in the room, we'll do the rest of the job in drying it out. Hey, I'll give you a quick look at the brush here. Boy, this Starry Night lathering bowl is marvelous. And this T3 brush with the ebony handle from Simpson. Great, and of course the Hoffmans burn the ship's shave soap. Look at that, folks. Look at that, huh? Look at, look, 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 look. Oh my gosh. Huh? It's just <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Just marvelous. Just marvelous. All right. Well, we're going to finish it off here with uh, something that will go with just about any shave soap out there uh, from Phoenix Shaving. Shave Chaser, huh? Yeah. This is an homage to Skin Bracer. But uh, it's better. It's everything skin bracer should be. And of course, skin bracer you could use with, you know, everyone's used that with just about any kind of shave soap uh, over the years. So this one will go with anything uh, post shave, which is why I'm using it. Absolutely fantastic. So here we go. A little bit of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Ah, that's fantastic. Got a nice little kick to it. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really do like uh, the uh, Shave Chaser from Phoenix Shaving. And also for upstairs, a little bit of Hawkins and Brimble because it uh, it's a nice uh, aftershave uh, balm. I'm going to have it up for upstairs just a little bit like, just a little, okay, a little more right there. Just for upstairs and just, it has a very light scent so it's not going to get in the way. Kind of a mashup in this shave a little bit. Shave mashup. Great, great shave. My sincere thanks to Alex Lopez because, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, while I thought that the, uh, the Blackland Era razor with the level 3 plate was good and it gave me a nice shave, for uh, three passes and some touch-up. This one is more efficient. Two two passes and I'm done. If I want to do a third pass, I don't think I'll have any ill effects from it. So yeah, it's nice now to have that option. If uh, I want a very nice mild shave, a very nice mild shave uh, with good control and uh, something that, uh, well, rather than skip a shave and you know maybe just rest my face, I can pull out that level three plate and have a nice mild shave. Two passes, three passes, whatever. And, uh, you know, have that nice, clean, shaved exper uh, uh, look and experience. Uh, but uh, to up the efficiency a little bit and to really, really give myself uh, a nice shave, the level four plate is doing the job. I think, uh, let's say we're going to do two passes. With the level three plate, two passes, one day's worth of growth, Probably darn fine shave territory. The level four plate, one day's worth of growth, two passes, BBS. Yeah, that's how much more efficient it is. And that's why, and I am on my way to BBS. Of course, they say, don't try to find the BBS, let the BBS find you. Well, I think the BBS is finding me. Level four plate is wonderful. So much so, I now want to try the uh, level four open comb, possibly the level five safety bar. Uh, yeah, maybe even the uh, level three open comb and see if where that efficiency is. Yes, yes, it's really uh, opened up more possibilities for this razor. Again, level three was really mild. Level three was 34, Mercur 34C mild, right in there. Um, and if you have the 34C, that's kind of where I think level three was for me in that ballpark. This is definitely Mula R89, right in that area. And you know how nicely those razors shave. This one is right into that area. Uh, I can only imagine that uh, level five 
would be well, might be might be pushing it for me a little bit now that I think about it. I think this might be the uppermost limit, but I'm sure sure would love to try a, a level five uh, base plate. That's for sure. But uh, fine, fine razor. I am really, really very, very happy that I now have a level four plate with this. This is probably the plate I'm going to use most often with this, unless I run into those days where. I really need a nice metal shave, then I'll pull out the level three plate, and I know that'll do a fine job. So I can get a shave without having to skip a day, and I don't like skipping a day, uh, which is why the level three plate will come in really, really handily. Uh, but this level four plate, beautiful efficiency, wonderful shave, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation, did an absolutely great job. I'm on my way to BBS, really, really did a fine job. My sincere thanks to Alex Lopez, for, th for sending along this level four plate for the Blackland Era Razor. Alex, thank you very, very much. And thank you again for this really, really nifty case for other base plates uh, and razor heads. Ah, uh, this is marvelous. And I can see traveling with this razor and throwing in a few extra plates right here while uh, you know I'm on the road. This will do a fine, fine job uh, in my dop kit. Uh, along with some extra plates in this little pouch here. Alex, thank you very, very much. Hey, you made my shave. I really do appreciate it. Thanks also to Beth Jones for the Starry Night Lathering Ball. Hey, that made my shave. And thanks also to Robert Chipola for the Burn the Ships Shaving Soap from Hoffman's Shave and Soap Company. Thanks also to Mark Bagwell for the Simpson T3 Trafalgar shaving brush with the ebony handle. Absolutely fantastic lather. Boy, all those things from these wonderful viewers came together and gave me a really, really nice shave. So check them all out and really give the Blackland Era razor a good look. This is cutting edge technology made in USA. Really nice price point. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so to give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the great artisan soap makers you see displayed at the bottom of the page. They offer some wonderful, wonderful shave soap and some really wonderful shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page, amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Rady, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easy. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.